Uh, yeah, okay. So, uh, if you're trying to fail and you succeed, did you fail or did you succeed? Ooh. Yeah, what do you reckon that? So, I'm trying to... Bit of a I'm mind failing matter. to succeed. Well, you're trying to fail uh, and you succeed at failing. So, like, you're sabotaging something. Did you fail or did you succeed? Fuck. You succeeded at failing. So, these are the type of... Uh, Philosophical questions. Hard hitting. Hard hitting journalism. Fuck. Yeah. So, uh, listeners, think about that one. Huh? So, you've had a rough week? Do you enjoy talking shit with your mates? Maybe you enjoy talking about sports, or maybe you enjoy a chat about pickup trucks and guns. Well, you've come to the right place. Here at the Off Season Vintage Podcast, Kyle and Ryan wrap it all into one easy to listen podcast. Sit back, enjoy. And let the off-season boys take you on a journey. Side effects may include boosting testosterone, ear bleeds, rage, or laughter. Fuck, I've been sick this week. Yeah, no, I feel like I should be wearing a face mask. Or at least you should be wearing a face mask. I've come good. I've come good. I've come good. I've Was come it COVID? Good. Have you had a COVID test? I have not had a COVID test. But you've uh, had your vaccination, so you I should be all right, mate. Double vax, can't be get COVID. Oh. Um, yeah, so I've come good this morning. That's good. Perfect timing. I still can't breathe. <sighs> so you're just gonna have the sound of the husky yeah, voice. Just have to listen to me talk like you know, me. chicks love it when you sound a little bit husky. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of the things about when you're sick and your throat's kind of fucked. It actually sounds nice. I don't think uh, I've had so sometime. many fucking cold and flu tablets in my life. Yeah, just popping them pills. I am taking a lot. Take like four at a time. Man, I pop I've pop so many pills, bro. I'm feeling so healthy right bit now. Of a, bit of a pill popper. Uh, so. We're watching the football at the moment, and uh, it's a Seahawks playing. So this is probably going to go real bad for me because I'm probably just going to start <laughs> like I'm going to up oh, there and there's a sack. Great. Uh, so if you hear me just start screaming or swearing or anything, oh crisp sound, uh, anything kind of expletive, expletive. What's the word? What is the word for like swearing? Explicit. Explicitive. Explicit. Yeah. Anything. Anything just, bad. Just I'm explicit. sorry. Uh, <laughs> But it might be entertaining for you because you might just genuinely watch me break down and uh, lose my mind and scream at the top of my lungs. We do enjoy it. We do. Um, but there's an elephant in the room, Kyle. Ooh. We, uh, Which one? There's a couple. We've, we've pissed off a large fan base of a, <laughs> of a, of a famous person. We fucking... Uh, so we went on a bit of a rant about Demi Lovato last week. Not yeah, we, about Demi Lovato. It wasn't about Demi Lovato. It was just about how dumb Demi Lovato is. It's just about her stupid fucking opinion. About their stupid opinions, oh, Carl. Fuck. Okay, so we posted a reel, got some traction. Four and a half thousand views in 25 minutes. Ooh, turns out when you talk about... Damn. Who knows? You knew that Demi Lovato had a big following. I sure didn't. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so we're, yeah, no, he's, he's been roughing her up the whole game. But uh, so we uh, got a comment. On one of our, on the reel, uh, and we misgendered Demi Lovato. We did. To be fair, didn't know that uh, Demi, I don't pay attention to Demi Lovato. Yeah, I'm not a Demi fan. Don't care about anything that they do. Um, but so, turns out, do. yeah, so, no, we're, a, we're a progressive, uh, we're a progressive podcast. So, it turns out that Demi actually does go by them, they, so we did technically misgender them, uh, which we formally apologise for. Um, but unfortunately for Demi fans, doesn't change the fact that they're a complete idiot. She is a fucking fool. You mean they are a complete fool? Come on, Carl, you got to oh. try. You got to you put in the effort. Put in the effort and try. She Don't worry. A, I mean, they, they are a complete <laughs> fool. <laughs> um, but actually, the funny thing is though, that comment got me thinking about like offensive things, and I've come to the conclusion that Demi's comment about aliens is actually insanely offensive to aliens. Yeah, because she. Uh, oh, I nearly did it. Because uh, they're pushing a human agenda of morality onto aliens. When are you supposed to use they and their? Uh, and them? They and them, yeah. So the easiest way to do it is to just refer to Demi as Demi. Just say Demi. Demi. Yeah. So that's, like, that's the easiest. Demi. <laughs> Crackhead Demi. That's the easiest way to try and get around it. Jump, uh, as long as you put in an effort, uh, it's all good. Is that a missed field goal? That is a missed field goal. Nice. I um, don't even fucking know what to say about it. Yeah, so shout out to that Instagram user. Um, but unfortunately, yeah. She doesn't, doesn't listen. Doesn't, she doesn't listen. Oh, she doesn't listen, no. There's I no way she, way she listens. But uh, unfortunately, it doesn't change the fact that Demi is still dumb as shit. <sighs> um, 
Because that, yeah, that aliens come out. You can be a but he, they, she, they, them. You're you still can be dumb. Whatever you, yeah, exactly. It doesn't change stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Speaking of stupidity, ooh, Alec Baldwin shooting his cast members. Oh, bang, are we, we, we going to do the uh, the breaking news of the week intro for that? Oh, I feel like we probably should. I feel like we should have ah, done that for uh, Demi Lovato. No, that's not really breaking news. That's just kind of like a. <laughs> Everyone knew she was dumb already. They were dumb. Good evening and welcome to the Progressive News with Kyle and Ryan. This is your midday report. <laughs> Alec Baldwin. Uh, like, okay, first of all, I feel sorry for the lady's family for, like, mostly. Like, I feel out of bad all the, for Alec Baldwin. Uh, yeah, that, that's where I was going. <laughs> but out of all the people, like, I feel sorry for the family the most because obviously you oh, lost yeah, a loved one. It's like, that sucks. Because I didn't want to like start by saying, "Oh wow, I feel really bad for Alec Baldwin when, when like someone just lost their life." I think family. the whole situation is bad. It's so cooked. Like, oh, that's just one of those things, especially on a set that you'd never expect to happen because you'd assume the props department's, you know. Yeah, but the dude who handed Alec Baldwin the gun has been sacked from his last job for firearm problem as well. Maybe he just gets off on people getting shot. What does this dude do? Just fucking replace guns with real guns? Maybe he's an assassin. Have you ever? Did you ever play Hitman like the video games? No. Oh well, so you're like you're like a agent, a bald agent, and you go around a uh, bald like agent killing people and assassinating people. But the way you can do it in missions is like sabotaging equipment. Oh, true. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that dude's a hitman because it was in Mexico, yeah. Mexico. Yeah, it Mexico. was, I believe. Uh, that new movie called Rust coming in cinemas. Been probably like, not for a long time now. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of a wow production delay probably, on that one. Probably a delay. But yeah, oh man, I like Alec. He would obviously he'd feel like absolute shit. Yeah, um, fucking no. But I feel like he'd also be like I don't know the guy. I don't know about you. Oh, I've, never, you? I've never met Alec. Oh, you Have you know met Alec Baldwin? Aaron yeah. Baldwin. Um, yeah, we hang out all the time. But he like he seems like the type of guy that is like genuinely seems like he'd be a nice dude. So I yeah, reckon I he'd so. be helping that family out. Yeah, there's a hope he would be. A news report came out and said, "Oh, he tweeted that." What do you mean? This is the news report. Yeah, true. (laughs) Alec Baldwin tweeted that he would do whatever it took to help the family. Oh, he tweeted it. Okay, thank God. And he, (laughs) I forgot. It's not like nothing is official until they tweet it. Well, he came out and said like he's cooperating with the police on the matter and Um, everything going on, and that he's there for the husband. Oh, kind of half strange, but. I'm there for you, bro. I just killed your wife. Sorry, but I'm here for you, man. I didn't mean to kill your wife, bro, but I'm here for you, man. Yeah, I just fucking shot your wife. You, you want to shoot me? You can shoot my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll yeah, give you a tit, prop gun. Tit for tat, yeah. It's like uh, Schrodinger's cat. I'll give you a prop gun. I don't know if it's a live bullet or a fake bullet in it. Yeah, exactly. See? Um, but another breaking news. Another, it's sad news. A lot of deaths in the news this week. Uh, so if any of you are a fan of Friends, uh, you'd know that yeah. Gunther. Gunther. Uh, unfortunately, the actor James Michael Tyler passed away. Uh, recently So we've got a coffee out this morning uh, I recommend anyone If you're a fan of the show Even if you hate Friends He was a good side character Go no out one, Go no, out and get a coffee No one hates Friends A lot of people hate Friends Let's be honest I only realised that Well they hate it because it was so popular It's like with anything Exactly It's like with anything popular Exactly it's like People hating on people that talk about Squid Game Like I've seen a lot of <sighs> anti-Squid Game yeah, memes right. And it's just like You just hate it because Again everyone else Like when everyone enjoys something People are going to find a reason you know to what the best I'm guilty of that myself. You know what the best part is, though? People bag friends, but then they're like, I love How I Met Your Mother. You no, know? it's just the Bruh, it's the exact <laughs> same fucking show. It's just the same show. It's just not 90s. Exactly. It's the, uh, I wonder what will be the next one. Maybe we hang could, in a bar. We get the... <laughs> yeah. Wow, real original, guys. Yeah, exactly. And um, it's the same... And it is the exact same storylines. Yeah, same kind of... Like, same kind of characters as well. Exactly. Like, uh, Barney and Joey. Barney and Joey. Oh, oh thank like there's so um, Phoebe didn't know her father, then goes to find her father. Barney doesn't know his father. Yeah, like they just yeah carbon copy exactly. I never really got around how Ross mother, Ross is a professor. Ted's a professor. It's one of the, like it's one of those shows that again you can put it on and I'll sit there and like watch it. I love. How I, I think it's funny, yeah. but like I won't go out of my way to watch it from start to finish. Oh, I've done that several times. Um, it gets stupid, but like towards the end. Yeah, I saw the, I watched the ending. I didn't really... No, nah, stupid. I thought it was a bit of a cop out. Yeah, it was, big time. Um, But uh, yeah, so there you go. There's the breaking news, sad deaths. Uh, if you're a friend of friends, go out and get a coffee in memory of Gunther. Exactly. Well, in memory of the actor. 
No, Gunter's always going to be there. Just, you can just watch it. Oh, oh, thank Just fuck. Gunter. Um, but yeah, that was that. That kind of got to me. That was sad. Mm. He was a good side character. He was. He had a good little role in it. Do we have any like positive news? I mean, the world's fucked. Um, Friends <laughs> is the best TV show. Yeah, there you go. I'm actually. What, I think the like, Demi news was pretty fucking good. What Demi being a? She's a fucking crackhead. They're a crackhead. Do we want to continue on? If the, anything, uh, it's just like a. Now we just get to say they're a crackhead instead of just one. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Which is oh, great. Oh, there, they, he, she. Yeah. But you know what? As long as you put in the effort, Demi. I'll accept it. Demi. Yeah, that's the easiest way around it. Just say Demi. Demi the cracky. Um, but um, yeah, well, I don't know. If, I don't I've, know. Oh, I've yeah, got wait. more depressing news. Oh, oh yeah. Is this. So our last episode was delayed. Yeah. Due to a. Some um, of you may have noticed. Yeah. Some of you may have. N- we did have a few responses. Might have even. <laughs> Due to realized an unforeseen circumstance. Yeah, someone, uh, some naughty people hanging around here, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, fuck. So there's been a, um, a little scam going around the area. So I'm not on Facebook and that, but <laughs> well, hipster. Yeah, no hipster, no social media. Anyway, so over at Pacific Pines, which is across the highway, the bad side of the highway, <laughs> they, um, the dark side. Yeah, Don't apparently there's been there. a little scam going around where um, these two people like go up to your house and they'll knock on your door and ask if you need trees cut down and either they'll take a deposit from you to do it and never do it, obviously, or they case the place. Mm. So there were two people, they came down the street and the lady was looking over the fence talking to the dogs and the dude was there and the dogs, like cause my two dogs are very quiet. They uh they turned feral, like aggressively barking. Mm. So the neighbors came out, and the neighbors luckily were there, and they disappeared. And they're like, "Oh, we're just uh just uh looking like if you need your trees cut." <laughs> and the neighbors like, they "Not many, not many that trees. They don't need their trees cut." As she's looking over my fence, trying to grab my fucking dog. What a G for one shout out to your neighbor. Yeah, no, good ladies, good lady, two good ladies. Um, but like. If you're a dog thief, get fucked. Yeah, exactly. Fuck like, there's own. nothing, just like, well, there's a lot, like, a lot of sad things in the world that you can do, but stealing someone's dog. Yeah, I know. It's got to be up there as one of the, like, biggest piece of shit things you can and do. And if you're doing it for dog fighting, you're grabbing the wrong fucking dogs. I got Dalmatians. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I they saw. They come cru- across aggressive. I saw Cruella, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know <laughs> I know that they're guard dogs. They, oh, fuck. I know that they would protect us if we needed to. No, oh, yeah. But that's Gator, like any Gator's dog. shown, not shown signs of aggression, but... Like, He's shown big dog. Yeah, like to protect us. Big dog signs. He stepped in between me and a fucking Roddy. Oh. Like, bruh, Sima, I got it. Roddy's a kid, though. I'll punch I'll the like, fuck out of the like dog. So I'll, I mean, I'll punch it. Like, I don't want to. No, I, yeah. I love all dogs, but I mean, like, if, there's a, if one of my dogs <laughs> is in danger, like, I want a corgi. They're not... Yeah, it's going to get They can't apart. defend. Yeah, they're going to get absolutely <laughs> destroyed. So I'd punch a dog for my corgi. Yeah, fucking oath. And I eventually get one. If a dog gets locked jaw, you stick your finger up his bum. <laughs> that's a true fact for anybody out you there. Do, you do realise that's fake, bro. That was fun, that's true. <laughs> man, I just convinced you. Well, you just did. one finger. Uh, I've watched Scooby-Doo, man. All you have to do is flick it on the nose. Oh, fucking <laughs> It's like a shark. Just punch it in the nose and then it'll be like... <laughs> yeah, uh, so, so, anyways, so yeah, there you go. So now I went to Bunnings and fucking 20 gazillion Deck, security cameras. Decked up the place. Yeah, fuck. So there is no black spots at my house. If any of you try and still... I was like, if they actually grab your dog, I would have been like, all right, come down. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're fuck going. It. We're going hunting. Let's go fucking flog them. Let's go fucking hunting. So, um, so, yeah. So, now one's at school and one's at the vet. So, yeah. Look after your dogs, guys. Be careful because there are piece of shit humans out there. Um, mm. It's pack pines. What can you say? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't live in Pack Pines, so... No, but I've never liked they, Pack Pines. They're coming across the highway. We always had problems with them. Even when we were playing them in soccer, we always had problems with them. Even when I went there the other week to watch Sam play fucking soccer, I had problems with them. Was he versing Pack Pines or was it just... Yeah, at, oh, he Pack Pines. Yeah, that's never And I was just time. in the fan. In the fan. Just in the fan. I was just in the fan. I was just in the crowd. Yeah. But, you know, Gold Coast crowds can get a little bit rowdy. Just a little bit. I'd always remember going to... Um, Oh, what was the one on... Oh, get over. Nice. What was the one... Uh, Merrimack? Was was Merrimack the Italian team? Yep. Yeah, and they'd just be swearing. 
in like in Italian on the sidelines, Gosh. and we're just like well, they're clearly yelling at it. like the rat. We decided the rat like they're clearly yelling at us like swear words and shit in Italian, and the rest are like I don't know, <laughs> I can't Shut understand up, them. So they're like filthy fucking wogs. Oh, 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 can you what? say that anymore? No, you can't. We have Italian listeners. Hey, we do actually have Italian listeners. Although they do call themselves <laughs> wogs. <laughs> yes, and wogs isn't offensive in any way. I think it used to be. I think it's one of those words that like originally. Well, I mean, it probably still is in a lot of circles. Nah, I don't reckon it is. Nah, though. mate. Yeah, just another, just another white boy telling <laughs> you what's offensive and what's not. Exactly. Big shock. Nah, fucking. What's that other word that is offensive? Diego. Uh, is it I Diego? Don't, I don't. I don't she call surround myself Diego? in offensive words, Kyle. I'm a, I'm a great human being. Oh, I surround myself in fucking multicultural societies. I just call white people crackers. Crackies, because that's uh, straight up crackers. <laughs> Love that term. But I love that. You're term. either a cracker or a redneck. <laughs> You're other. What's the difference? There ain't none. I'm a bit of both. Um. What else? Yeah. So fucking that happened. Um. And then I don't even think anything positive happened this week. There's not much positive going around. In the Actually, world. no. Something positive has happened. What was that? This happened last week. I just forgot to talk about. Good it. run. Okay. So when I was growing up, because I didn't have any brothers or sisters when I was young. <laughs> Only I, um, child, right, guys? Only child. <laughs> Obviously. Only child problem. <laughs> um, so, mum bought me a dog for my second birthday. Oh, is that the beautiful golden retriever? Golden retriever, yeah. Boswell, yeah. Boswell, yeah. So, Boswell and I grew up together. We would do everything together. We'd play Cowboys and Indians. I don't know if you can do that anymore because that'd probably be offensive. Like, I think it is. I don't know. I don't know. Even just the term Indians. He was the cowboy, but I was the Indian. Wait, do you know the, the origin of the term Indian? Person from India? No, so when they sailed over there for the first time, they were trying to reach India. Yeah. And they landed there and they were like, oh, wow, India. <laughs> so all the Native Americans were like, yep, like, what are you doing here? And they're like, oh, Indians. <laughs> it's like, wow. And then it's stuck. Okay, then. So I love that the origin of that word is just the stupidity of <laughs> Americans. Beautiful. God bless. God bless America. So anyway, yeah. So anyway, so I grew up with this dog, right? We did everything together, bit each other, first kiss. <laughs> All the fuck is what, shit you, you bit do. the dog? Yeah, if he bit me, I'd bite him back. <laughs> dog was probably very confused. <laughs> We'd go <laughs> like snowboard and snowboarding, like down the hill to get on the snow. Oh yeah, all that uh, so lush, anyway, lush snow up in the Blue Mountains. Exactly. So anyway, then he died. <laughs> yeah, okay. fucking story. Before you said this is a happy story. It is a happy story. So he dies. Dog's dying. And sad. I cry. Anyway, so in my um, in the office, I've got like a. Um, like a photo frame, it's got five photos in it of Boswell and myself. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so the other day, I just I don't know a photo came up like um like on your you know like your memories, but it's on your phone. Yeah, man. Yeah, so that came up, and it was a photo of um me and Boswell when he was a puppy. <laughs> and then I was like, oh fucking, you know, I had a little sad moment. And then I fucking walked into the office, and I was editing the podcast. And fucking Gator was in there with me. And Gator reminds me a lot of Boswell. Like, he has the same Mannerisms, personality. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, he, he is Boswell. <laughs> he's a, it's almost like he's a dog. Uh, no, nah, well, Miami's fucking <laughs> feral. Yeah. Gator's, like, very lovey. Hey, Miami's very... Miami <laughs> anyway, loves me. So, I'm sitting there, and then Gator's, like, ruffling through the cupboard. I'm like, what are you doing? And then he pulls out a photo of Boswell. Oh, dog's no man. It was so fucking weird. I'm like... Holy shit, that is weird. So Maybe it's the spirit of Boswell. Exactly. Well, that's In what I'm Gator. getting to. So I reckon he was looking down on me. Something bad was going to happen to me that 100%. day. Well, I'm still like Adam. He and saved me. Dogs are, like, I know the evolutionary history of dogs. I mean, there, were wolves. there was something else that happened too. But oh, like, I opened a book and a fucking photo fell out. Because I used it as a um, bookmark. A Boswell photo? Yeah. Um, so random. Dogs Three are, things happened. Dogs are angels, man. Like I know they came from wolves, so they're like, naturally not here really to protect us, but... <laughs> Something happened in that transition from a uh, mm. wolf to domesticated dog. The spirit of uh, they, camaraderie. They, they got a heart. I mean, they always had a heart. <laughs> but uh, they learned to love. Shout out to dogs. Shout out to dogs. Any dog listeners out Any there? Any dog listeners out there? Any of your dogs? Any of you? Well, everyone, uh, we call a lot of people dogs. We're dogs. dogs. Big dogs. Big, small dogs. Big dog. All our fans are dogs. <laughs> dogs, you're all dogs. You're all dogs, but like. <laughs> In a good and bad way. Take it however you want it. If you want it to mean that like you're a dog as in like you're an actual dog, you're a bad person, you can you can believe that. Then you are. But it, yeah, then you are. We're not going to tell you if you're a good or bad person because, I mean, we're both saints. Well, I am. 
<laughs> goddamn saint. You're goddamn right. Um, so yeah, that was my positive that was week. little positive week. I started reading a new book. Oh yeah, what are you reading? The Fifth Vital. Oh yeah, what's it about? <laughs> Should I do this like we're fucking sponsored by it? Welcome to <laughs> Welcome to Carl's Book Club. Carl's, <laughs> welcome to Carl's Book Club. I got a so, Bass um, Pro Shops <laughs> man, uh, catalog here. Got some cool looking guns. <laughs> got I'm some beers. The Fifth Vital. Mike mm. Malak. What's it about? Uh, just his life, how he was a junkie and then he becomes a good guy. And rich and famous. Damn. Is that all it takes? He Don't not only survived, he thrived. Oh, wow. That is boom. Yeah, this is like token, like a thing that you'd read on the back. So of So he talk. was a cracky. I'll give you a quick rundown. So he's a cracky. Uh huh. Now he's a social media personality with millions of uh-huh. followers and an entrepreneur, marketer, podcaster, YouTuber, and author who hopes to use his voice to shine light for those whose own lights have grown dim. Damn, that sounded better because I got a sick voice. Beautifully written. Yeah, can we get you? Uh, we'll just go through. We'll make an audio book <laughs> of you reading this whole entire book with a sick voice. Unfortunately, what everyone seemed overlooked was that the methadone itself was narcotic. I may have been abstaining from the use of heroin or oxycontin, but methadone got me high too. Oh, it's a fumble. In fact, Sorry. it got me higher than any other drug out there. What a fucking paragraph I just chose to read. Uh, I've got great. one here from uh, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> The tree was beautiful. Is Lord this a fumble? From Lord of the Rings. Yes! And a recovery. And then Dumbledore shone down upon Gandalf. Oh, what a hit. Who was that? Big old Marty. Beast. So, yeah. Have you watched any TV? Um, I watched uh, a couple of movies. I watched uh, the Bad Times at the El Royale. That was kind of cool. Um, El Royale. It's got a good, couple of good actors in it. It kind of reminded me. It was like a Tarantino wannabe film. Mm. Um. But like it wasn't mind blowingly good. It was entertaining. You know, you know those movies that you're like watching, like, I'll probably never watch this again. But yeah. like it's not a bad time. Avatar. Like I wouldn't say it's what, uh the blue people one. <laughs> I didn't know there was another one, but okay. Well, there is another one. If you're a fan of the la- Avatar the Last Airbend at the kids show, there's a uh, M. Night Shyamalan made a live action movie which never seen it. Yeah, because again, you don't Cartoons of the Kids. Cold and cultured. And then speaking of cartoons, I watched uh, Dragon Ball Z, Super Brawly. Oh, after we bagged it the Broly? other day. Brawly? What? Did we bag? Yeah, Dragon you Ball bagged Z? it as well. What, Dragon Ball Z? Yeah. Yeah, that I didn't really uh, like it. I don't it like too no, long no, no, no. fight scenes. Look, I liked it as a kid, and it always will hold that sentimental value to me. Oh, no. Nah. But I can't, like, I can't, I can't sit down and watch the whole thing. Ah, fuck, man. It's going to take, like, way too long. Um,. But yeah, that was that was entertaining. I like Broly. He's a pretty cool character. Hot chicks and explosions. Hot, hot if there's not hot chicks, explosions, and Vin Diesel, <laughs> I don't care. Or the Rock. Man, imagine if we got Vin Diesel and uh, Demi Lovato on a podcast. Wow, that would be. What would they talk about? <laughs> family. Family. Which Demi, would you talk you about? Who family? would you talk to first? I like aliens. <laughs> I mean, fuck. sorry, uh, they wouldn't say that because they'd say extraterrestrial. I think I don't even know what Demi Lovato. Vin Diesel would be like. If Demi, you're listening, what term do you want us to use Demi, for extraterrestrial? You've given me a good idea for the next Fast and the Furious movie. <laughs> yeah. and then we're gonna like, save like, the <laughs> extraterrestrials. And it's, it's like him at a movie pitch. He's like, guys, aliens. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, Vin. Aliens, but we become family. Oh my God, Vin, you are so right. My third cousin. How have we is not an thought alien? of this before? Because I'm a genius. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Apart from that, I had a pretty. Uh, I worked all weekend. Yeah, so. I had a shitty fucking quiet weekend. Yeah, nothing really happened. It's pretty, uh, pretty dull. Zuko's been a good boy. He didn't pretty. I don't dull. think he's shut in the house this week. Oh, stop it! He's he's getting really good at like. Notifying us Zuko when, shit he wa- update. when he wants to get Zuko, Zuko poo Zuko, update. Zuko, Zuko's <laughs> weekly poo update. Up uh, poo schedule. <laughs> That's like good. he's getting a lot better at like kind of like looking more concerned than he usually does and like waddling over to the door. Yeah, right. Actually, I've got a good story. I think it's oh. <laughs> I feel fucking it just reminded me. I don't know why it reminded me of gummy bears, but it reminded me of gummy bears. Cause Zuko kind of looks like a gummy bear. <laughs> I hope not enough where this story's going. Uh, so I saw online that there was this fucking dude, right? And he like melts down the gummy bears. So they're like kind of like a fruit roll up, I assume. Mm-hmm. And then he wraps it around his dong. <laughs> and then a ch- his cheek goes to fucking town on it. 
Until she gets, Wait, so until does, she like, gets to the fucking. Does he wrap it like a ring, or does he no, wrap like it like he wraps it like, like a all like a roll up right around his fucking ding dong? So he melts a gummy. Are these like weed gummies, or are they just normal gummies? I think they're just normal gummies. <laughs> Imagine just get, getting more progressively high. He was a military the man, fur, so I can assume they were regular gummy bears. He's a mil- of course a military. Of course, someone from the military melts gummy bears and wraps it around. Well, his dick. that's fucking funny because it's a good metaphor for. I know a chick who can put eight of them. Down her throat and then regurgitate them. What gummy bears? Yeah, eight like specifically eight gummy bears. <laughs> well, I counted eight. <laughs> she, she Let's go for eight. nine. Let's go for nine. Come on. See what you can get down there, girl. Um, oh, you know what? I've been watching Blue Mountain State again. Ooh. Have you ever watched that? Ooh, I thought you were going to tell me something. Put gummy bears down their throat. No, I mean oh. honestly, that's probably the weird kind of shit that would happen in that movie. Uh, I mean, I that thought TV it was show. cool. What? The gummy bear thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like a... Like swallow and then like regurgitate. It's like a weird party trick. Fucking it's cool. like, hey, anyone at this party got any cool party tricks? I do. It's Give like- me eight gummy bears. <laughs> 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 I need eight gummy bears and a camera. It's the party trick, like when the stripper pulls out the lollipop. <laughs> ah, yes, I too have also been to Thailand. <laughs> um, yes, yes, Thailand. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wow, what a great episode so far. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle was your fucking highlight of the week. <laughs> highlight of the week. Girl that, girl that can put gummy bears down her throat and then regurgitate them. <laughs> if you have any cool party tricks, let us know. If you can do nine gummy bears, let us know. I don't think I have any cool party tricks. Yeah, I don't. I can do like the one with the bottle cap where I pretend to make it like... In your foreskin? Tuck it. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Ha- like, I'm circumcised. Not like a bottle cap is in like a... a fun fact for the listeners, I'm <laughs> circumcised. So if you, see if you ever wanted to have that image in your head, you do now. <laughs> um, no, so like, you know, so like when you get like a plastic cap. bottle, like a pump bottle, get a little cap, and you like pretend to hide it and then pull it out from behind your neck. I can do that. I don't know if that's a party trick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, I'm good at flip cup. Flip cup. Yeah, I'm real good at flip cup. Yeah, right. I feel like that could be a party trick. When we go to uh, the United States February, and do a college tour. In February. In February. We'll do a college tour and uh, we'll be like, oh, I could, like, I'll could i hustle them. I'll be like, oh, I've never played flip cup before. Oh, I'll just hold up. Oh, how do you play this game? How you going, guys? <laughs> oh, what's this flip cup? Oh, we just drink in Australia. <laughs> oh, I've never played flip cup before. Oh, how do you do it? Boom. And then bam. They're going to be like, wow, Australians are real good at Flip Cup. I never knew that. And we're doing it for money because we're going to go with no money. Yeah, hustle. Hustle hard TV. The boys go with zero dollars. How far can they get? Um, should, we, should we talk about something in sport? No, there's nothing happening in sport this week. Well, oh, the basketball started. Basketball's NBA, been going fun. That's a uh, plain. People are dribbling Very basketballs. Kevin Durant going is amazing. Good. Yeah, Kraken's started. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, they're a new team. Florida like, Panthers, baby. We're on top of the ladder. Let's um, go. Yeah, a Sabres, isn't it? Oh, it's Panthers. It is definitely not the Panthers. Florida Panthers is the team. Pretty sure it's Florida Sabres. Oh, here we go. Ryan wants to Are you all him. ready for me to be smug as fuck? Because I'm about to be smug as fuck. Or oh, eat my words. Florida... Hockey team. Please don't be Panthers. Oh, the Florida Panthers. Fuck, who's the Sabres? Oh, you <laughs> fucking fool. Wow. And there goes my ego all the way down back to square one. Buffalo, you fucking oh, idiot. Buffalo Sabres. Damn. Well, there you go, guys. There's me being smug and there you go. me eating crow. Kyle knows more about sport than Ryan. Yeah, Kyle's definitely the sporting whiz. Basketball's been all right, but the fucking... Um, yeah, the games have been pretty good. Some of the young players are playing all right. No, they're not. What? Trey Young finally today hit some form. Luke he has played been, all right last Luke game. has been doing nothing. Trey's been doing nothing. I mean, it's the start of the season. Lamelo is time. balling out. Lamelo. Lamelo's balling, yeah. Lamelo's great. BBB day ones, that's baby. What ha- that's what happens when you come play in Australia. You just become so good that you go back to America and you turn the fuck up. Yeah, because our league's harder. Um... Let's go on to some NFL scores. Browns Broncos. That was a pretty shit game. Browns got up. You just expect them to. Broncos are pretty trash. Although the Browns didn't have half their starters, so yeah, I'm surprised they're getting up. Titans Chiefs. Wow. I think you're right about the Chiefs. Chiefs are trash, bro. Chiefs are absolutely fucking 27 trash. Twenty-seven to three. Damn. Titans are turning it the fuck on. I'm telling you, Derrick Henry is fucking just. He didn't even do much. He didn't have to do much. Tannehill threw it all over them. Yeah, Tannehill. Tannehill. Um. Yeah. Mahomes is trash. 
Well, he got paid that big money. Now he doesn't have to worry. It's family, man. They're bringing him down. Uh, Packers, Washington. Yeah, Packers got up 24 to 10. Big surprise. Uh, Ravens, Bengals. Now, where the fuck did that come from? Ravens just smashed. Bengals. Wait, just who they beat last week? Was it? No, it wasn't the Bills. Titans. They beat someone last week. Someone big. Maybe the Chiefs. And then all of a sudden, Bengals come out 41 17 and pump them. I rate the Bengals. I rate the Bengals. I hope, I like the Bengals. I want the Bengals to be good. They're like they're like that team that's been trashed the whole time and finally playing well. They goddamn finally doing I like Joe something. Burrow. Uh, Giants, Panthers, New York Giants. Settle down, Caleb. It was the Panthers. Don't go, don't go celebrating a big win like that. Come on. What was the end score? Twenty four after three. Panthers are so shit without McCaffrey. Panthers are absolute trash. Yeah. And so are their three and zero record Giants. was fake. Also, can we not let Jameis just run it? Like that's just too easy. Um. You meant to oh out. man, Dolphins Falcons. I'm sorry. <sighs> Two was trying. Two was <laughs> Miami has a dolphin. Saint Green is football team. We um, look, Tua tried. Tua is not the problem. Tua, Tua is, is not, not the, the problem. fucking problem. No. And if they trade Tua, they are the stupidest organization in the fucking world. Well, it looks like they're going for Watson, but why though? Like, focus on Tua. Yeah, focus on him. Let. Build him, the team around him give and him give him help. the confidence. Look, he's a left-handed quarterback. I get around him. Fuck, um, I am so fucking angry at that. Like, we've <laughs> lost the last three games in the fucking final play. Oh, and it was Falcons. Fuck like, you've me. lost the Jags. You've lost the man. You're losing to shit. You, but you're playing I'm decent okay. against good teams. And then you just play, like, shit against the I'm shit okay team. having a fucking couple of losing seasons. But we've been having the losing seasons and then fucking the players off. Like you gotta fucking build, like yeah. they did. Like you gotta, you gotta give them belief. I understand Tannehill; it was time to go because he'd been there for fucking seven years, and and Tannehill's not gonna like. And look at him go now; he's playing so well because well, he's, he's not a centerpiece. He needs to be exactly the like the like the one that's not the main man in that offense. Like yeah. Derrick Henry is the main man in that offense. Tannehill can't be the main man exactly. And now they just got to fucking stick with Tua. He's got fucking um Waddle, Waddle, oh, Waddell. I think he might be injured. Okay, well, he had him, but he's going to have him for the next couple <laughs> yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah. And you got all these fucking good players, Gaskin. Give him a line. Build an O-line. Fuck. That'll help so much. I don't know why teams I'm all for getting to Sean it. Watson, but firstly, he's not fucking cleared of fucking domestic violence yet or sexual assault sexual or whatever assault, it was. Yeah, like all like 100 or whatever it was. Exactly. And he's, gotta, yeah, and he's got to be fucking sorted by November 2. And then if he's found guilty, he's not going to be allowed to play. So there's fucking wasting your money. That would be the most Miami Dolphins thing to do. Oh, Fuck trade me, like a shit ton of stuff away. Or you're going to get him or get him real fucking cheap and have him play backup. Nah, he'd start. I know he'd start, but I wouldn't start him. I'd have him as backup. So yeah, no, I fucking hate the piece of shit. Like fucking Ryan <laughs> Fitzpatrick did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Patriots, Jets. I think we need to talk about um, the hatred that the Patriots have for the Jets. Yeah, I'll take just, this phone call. Oh, well, are we... Hello. Good, thank you. How are you? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll be there then. Awesome. Thank you. Cheers. That's a live listen for our listeners. Nah, we'll just cut that. Miami <laughs> is awake from surgery. Oh, good little poor little thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, page, like that's 54 to 13. Damn, man. Patriots hate the Jets. Pretty brutal. Fuck the Patriots, but Mac Jones playing good. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's yeah. doing everything yeah. that they need him to do. Yeah, he's doing all right. Yeah. He's doing all right. Just yeah, doing short. Well, I mean, it's all right when you just throw for fucking seven yards every pass. Yeah, true. Uh, Raiders, Eagles. Yeah. Fucking Eagles. No one really shit, cares. Man. Yeah, no one really cares. Raiders. Yeah, all right. Rams, Lions. Shout out to the Lions. They played pretty good, but I mean, obviously the Rams still won. Um, I think everyone's going for the Lions. Buccaneers, Bear. Fuck, Bucks look scary, man. 38 to 3. I mean, the Bears are trash. Their offense is just absolute ass. But Bucks look good. I reckon they can. Bucks, I could see in the Super Bowl. Nope. Cardinals, Texans, 31 to 5. That game was closer than that school line shows. Texans are actually playing them all right. Get him. Bring him down. That's surely holding. Oh, of course, Kamara's fucking free. It's not Kamara. He's down the field. It's Callaway. Is it? Yep. Oh, whoops. I thought it was 41. That was um, a straight up fucking. Colts, 49ers. Racist. How was that, Luke? Like the 49ers. How'd that fit? No, I was reading one. I thought it was 41. Surely that's holding. Yeah, good. 
Uh, fuck the 49ers. I agree. I Take agree. that, Luke. Colts got up. We beat the Colts, fuck which them. means we're better than you. And, yeah, Saints Seahawks currently playing, 10 all. And, I mean, if we, can, if we squeeze there. a win out of this, oh, my God, because I chalked this down as a loss at the start of the season with Russ. And uh, I definitely chalked this down as a loss without Russ. And there you go. There's the there's football done. What are you done? So if you hate football. No NRL news. No AFL news. Yeah, nothing's really happened in the off season so far. No videos have come out. Where's the fucking Where's the drama? Yeah, we where's need the more where's drama. the dogs filming everyone yeah. doing uh, yeah. unnecessarily fun shit? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nah, it's pretty mellow podcast. You know, where's tonight. the where's the toe sucking? Ooh, we need some toe sucking. There was toe eating, poor skulls, the uh, Manchester oh, United, great. Can we just Talk discuss about that. that for a minute? Well, we can not because i got a question regarding that game, so oh, we can go for a little bit then. I, I screen recorded the video. That is nasty. It is that disgusting. <laughs> so I think we should put the audio of this with that because there is a video of... Paul Skulls. Paul Skulls, if you don't know him, uh, ex-Manchester United player, was one of their greatest players of all time. Sucking his daughter's toe. I'm pretty sure he's just chewing her nail off. Chewing her nails. His daughter's... That's that's uh, that's worse. A lot of his detractors... I'm not detractors. A lot of his uh, supporters are saying, no, he's just removing a splinter from her toe. Why do you have to use your mouth? Like, I get sucking out a splinter, but... Use tweezers. No, you're meant to suck out a splinter. Why don't you just warm? Oh, was but that nah, nah. The way that was happening was weird. It was weird. that was weird. And it, she's like, "How old? 20? Uh, yeah, I think so. There's it's a lot weird. of there's a lot of funny comments online. It's weird. Um, about like, oh, I just can't wait for them to lose two 0 It's gonna be toe nil. Oh, it's gonna be yuck. great. Um, Blech. yeah, but that 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 was kind of off putting. And then, you know what? I hate skulls. Well, I don't hate him. I hated him for a long time growing up because he okay was just to so hate good. People. This is a safe hate place. This is a sa- <laughs> We're a safe space for hate. We I don't hate think anyone people. wants to be known as that. We hate a lot of people. Uh, we do well, Demi. Do you uh, Demi Demi Lovato? <laughs> we hate we Demi hate Lovato. <laughs> if you'd like to defend I don't yourself, know about hate, but just like disdain, I'd say is the right word. If you'd like word. to defend yourself, please feel free to contact. Feel us free to contact us. On. All Demi's fans, go on, cancel us, please. Um, please cancel. Do you want to get the factory? You got a little. Yep, hit me. Um. Again, no real reason for doing this one, apart from the fact that I was uh, reading a couple of articles about Vikings and the Viking invasion of Britain back in the day. Yeehaw! Because <laughs> I don't know if Vikings say yeehaw. I think they're more of like a skull. Uh, but anyway, here's yeehaw, some... skull. Here's uh, 10 interesting facts you may not know about Vikings. Uh, so Vikings didn't actually wear horn helmets. So all the media and all those like emblems that you see, that's cultural, one, cultural appropriation, and two, it's wrong. Wow. So Minnesota Vikings, dogs. Ooh. I don't know any other teams that are Viking. Oh, the Canberra Raiders? Dogs? No, they're Raiders. Yeah. But are they named Raiders after like a Viking raid? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so Norsemen, uh, they did wear headgear, but yeah, not the whole Horn Gold Coast ones. Vikings. Oh, is that a thing? Crumbin, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Crumbin powerhouse. Uh, so Vikings are actually known for their excellent hygiene. Ooh. So, uh, which is oh. weird. So they had tweezers, razors, combs, ear cleaners made from animal bones. Uh, they bar- nice. bathed at least once a week. <laughs> oh, beautiful. <laughs> much more Clean. Fre- much more frequently than other Europeans of their day and other Europeans now. I was going to say fucking <laughs> Europe only bathed once a month. Uh, they also enjoyed dips in natural hot springs. Uh, they used all. a unique liquid to start fires. Uh, they would collect. A, they would collect a fungus called touchwood from tree bark and boil it for several days in urine before pounding it into something akin to felt. Oof, that's crazy. Uh, they buried their dead on boats. Who didn't know that? How was that a random fact? What? Uh, well, they have Viking like a Viking funeral where you. Oh yeah. You like set them off and you light it on fire. It's. Uh, I didn't know they lit it on fire. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't been to many Viking funerals. Look, I don't know if that's actually just something they do for movies or if that's real. Again, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story, Carl. Exactly. Uh, they were active in the slave trade. Standard. <laughs> Aren't we big, all? Big shock. Well, well I'm not. I love you. I'm not incriminating myself on this podcast. I've got a housemate. Uh, <laughs> Viking women enjoyed some basic rights. Good on you, Vikings. There you go. Nice. Paving the way. I mean, what's more Nordic than that, right? Only some, though. Yeah, only some. Uh, let's, they sailed off on their adventure. I oh, know women have more freedom than other women in their era. Uh, as long as they weren't thralls, Viking women could inherit property, request a divorce, and reclaim their dowries if their mar- marriages ended. Ooh. If you ain't no <laughs> punk Viking holler, we won't prenup. 
Um, Viking spent Viking men spent most of their time farming. They were good old farmers. Yeehaw. Uh, so that's kind of great. Look, origin of farming is well, it's not the origin of farming. Pretty sure that was Egypt, but anyway, uh, they skied for fun. That's dope as fuck. <laughs> I can't imagine a Viking going down like a hill. How do they have a boat that goes fast enough to ski? <laughs> Not water skiing. Oh. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they just paddled real fast. Uh, Viking gentlemen preferred being blonde. There you go. That's the beauty standards of the Vikings. Doesn't everyone prefer who, being blonde? Who's throwing that to, man. Um, Only someone who wasn't blonde wouldn't like blondes being blonde. Blondes are my fun. Agreed. And uh, they are. were never part of a unified group. They're all like, you know, generally uh, doing their own thing, have their own little uh, leaders and stuff, which is not really a big shock. But there you go. Facts about Vikings. Beautiful. I you, feel, if you're a fan of Vikings, oh, you fucking missed I her. feel like I know a lot more now. Yeah. I thought uh, the one about the helmets got me because I was like, wow, that means every single costume I've ever seen has just been completely wrong. But big right. surprise to white people trying to like appropriate someone's culture and getting it completely wrong. How do you know it's white people? Well, because, I mean, that's most of the people that appropriate... Oh, there he is, DK. Most of the people that appropriate cultures, they're usually pretty white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. There you go, everybody. Now you know all the fucking... Now you know about Vikings. So if you see anyone, yeah, it's Halloween coming up. Spooky season. Mm. Halloween this weekend. Hopefully you're all getting dressed up, doing something, having some fun. Spooky uh, season. If you're one of those people that just hates it because it's an American thing. It's getting up and drinking and getting dressed up and drinking. Like, it's becoming really why, popular. In why Australia. would you not want to just have an excuse to get drunk again? Why like, you that's the Australian thing. Why wouldn't you want an excuse for your missus to dress up as in a, a in a nice little foxy outfit? In a nice little fucking and then you can get dressed up, feel, nurse. feel like a man. Because we all know that fucking women dress as slutty things for Halloween. Everyone dresses as slutty things for Halloween. That's not true. Because you're just trying to get it. True. How many dudes do you know that wear like a sash and they're like, oh, I'm a Roman? And it's just like them just buffed up looking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I wouldn't That's do that. That's a slutty outfit. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't do that. Yeah, but you're not every dude, are you? You're, you're your own man. I'd dress up as a Viking with horns on my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's everyone that's listening to this. Go out and dress up as a Viking with horns in your head. Shall we um, get into question time? Go to the questions. Um, question disappointed. time with Kyle and Ryan. Disappointed. Standard. That's all I can say. Yeah. Absolutely disappointed. I had fuck all questions this yeah, week. Everyone's up and down here. Oh, it's ridiculous. Up, down, up, this is, down. This is the down. best segment. And it only becomes the best segment if you give me questions. That's true. I got three. I got a few. And, and all I've three of them some. are from the only people that send in a question every week. Oh, well, I've got three. Nice. I got a few, actually. So, what I did was I looked up an article with weird questions. Beautiful. Just it, to kind of you go first, save space. Uh, you can go first. Best conspiracy theory. Like, what's your favorite? My favorite one is that Avril Lavigne is dead. Oof. And that the current Avril, Avril Lavigne is a body double. Yeah, right. I love that. Just because it's just the most confusing conspiracy. Like, why True. Why is she important enough to have a body, to double. Have a body double? That's fair. Like, I get it. Skater Boy is a banger. I Great. get it. One of the greatest songs I've ever written. Um, Girlfriend or whatever it is, is a banger. Complicated. I get it. All, all Avril Lavigne song bangers. But, but she, like, why? <laughs> maybe there's something bigger to her. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a Canadian thing. Maybe. Stupid. Ooh, Tyler. Go, Tyler. Oh, good boy. Canadians are stupid. No. That's not Tyler. That is Tyler. Oh, no, it's Freddie Swain. Game. Sorry, I thought I was a 16. I want Tyler. Or is that Penny Hart? Um, yeah, so mine would be, I think, that Area 51 doesn't exist. Or it does exist, sorry, but... But it's just nothing's weird about it. No, 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 no. Like, hear me out. We are Area 51. That area that is Area 51 is actually the portal to the other world. To the other world? Yeah. Uh, What's in the other world? Is it like a... Who knows? Extraterrestrials. We can't call them aliens. Yeah, thanks, Demi. So, I don't know, but I reckon it's a portal something. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Because that is one of the only places in the world Have you been watching where Dark? you get shot on the spot. Have you been watching Dark? No. Nah. Mm, is that in interesting. there? Well, it's, a bit, it's all about portals and shit. I'm not into portals, but I believe that this is real. <laughs> I'm not into portals, but here's my favourite conspiracy theory, which is literally all about Well, it's portals. either that or the fact that there was two shooters for JFK, not one. Oh, yeah. Because, fucking, the, first, the second bullet that shot old mate 
couldn't come from the same direction. Damn. Just fucking, yeah. Is that really a conspiracy theory? Or is it just a misconception? I don't know. I just I think it's conspiracy. JFK assassination. What's the difference? Damn. Yeah, he didn't even actually died. Nine eleven. <laughs> yep. Bush did it. Bush did order it. Look, That's I don't know if he fact. ordered it, but I could a hundred percent believe that they knew it was going to happen. They knew it was coming, and they were like, mm, "If we, we let can this use go. this, <laughs> we can use this." Hang on a minute. Son, son. Give, us, give us one million dollars. Son, we'll... your family's oh, gotta, oh, get up. Oh. We gotta be careful with your son, US oh, listeners. Gonna, oh, please don't be a fumble. And I don't want to piss off oh our US God, listeners. Geno Smith, if you lose this ball. So oh, yeah, so that's my favorite. Yours? Uh, all right. Do you believe in ghosts? Yes. And if so, have you or someone close to you seen one? I believe in spirits. Yeah, I've I, had a couple of crazy spirit encounters. Okay, I kind of believe. When I was like, younger, I not now. Of, yeah, I kind of believe in ghosts. Um, I'm open to the idea of ghosts being real. Like, let's put it this way. If it suddenly came out in the news, ghosts have been confronted me, I wouldn't be like, oh, wow. Yeah, that's fair. Who saw that coming? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Like, the world's kind of creepy place. There's a lot we don't know about the universe. Uh, I've never had a ghost experience. Well, I've had, like, creepy experiences as a kid of, like, the old, oh, my God, he missed. <sighs> I think, um, yeah, so my mum used to catch me talking to fucking people all the time that weren't there. Yeah, but that's just kids being weird, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Like, kids have incredible imaginations and the brain is a crazy I've got a couple of good ghost stories or spirit stories I can tell you next time. Oh. Spirit sessions. Spirit sessions. We'll get the crystals out. Get some energies going. Yeah, I'll tell you one next week. It's kind of creepy. What's your next question? I've got two that are creepy, actually. Yeah, I've got a couple of creepy ones. Chocolate in the fridge or cupboard? Oh, see, after that article you sent me, like, I'm still chocolate in the fridge. I am chocolate in the cupboard. It does not go in the fridge. It, but like chocolate does not go in the fridge. Chocolate in the it fridge. loses flavor. It, it doesn't matter about the. Fl- it's still got plenty. It doesn't of matter about the it. flavor. The more it's you still fucking got a shit ton it. of flavor on it. No, nah. you're telling me you can't taste the flavor if it goes in the fridge. No, but it's got it's that taste buds cold fuck. fridge fucking feel. No, but that, that's like the crispiness of it, and like the, nah. that click when you like bite no. a piece of chocolate and like, like I can't do it right, but no. it breaks apart. Chocolate goes and like like it's in summer especially. Like having a cold piece of chocolate? Fuck no. yeah, give me that shit. Chocolate goes in the cupboard and I did some research on this and I spoke to Cadbury. <laughs> Cadbury said it goes in the cupboard. Are they going to sponsor us? It's got to be stored at room temperature. Fuck that. Fuck you, Cadbury. What, what does Cadbury know hey, about chocolate? Don't pay Cadbury. What does Cadbury know about chocolate? Exactly. Norton, you're up. Um, How good was LFC? Uh, Oh, yeah. That hey. was fucking incredible. I don't know what LFC is. Liverpool Football Club. We beat Manchester United oh, yeah, five nil at Old Trafford. Uh, at so Old Trafford, man. Our biggest win since like nineteen thirty something at Old Trafford. Did um, our Did our Pommy listener take our bet? My bet. I don't know. He didn't message me about it, so maybe he hasn't listened to that episode yet. Michael, oh, sort your shit. He's gonna fuck. It. Yeah. So he waited for this week. Yeah. yeah waited for the beat Hamo. This waited week. for the sure bet. Smart man. Smart man. He's. I don't care. I'll still take the bet. Bit of a hustler. However, the loser has to fly to the other to buy the beer. I'll take that. I'll get a visit from Michael. Or we're going to visit him. Oh, I'm happy with that. I've got a British passport. I can get it easy. I've got a British passport. I've got a British passport. Um, but yeah, LFC, 5-0 against Old Trafford. I'm part of that. the Commonwealth. I can get so it So many Man United fans at the start of this year were so fucking smug. They made some big signings. They were like, yeah, this is it. We're title contenders. We're title contenders. Liverpool are trash. Like last year, we were above you on the ladder. Even though we had a shit ton of injuries, they completely decimated our team. And I was saying, no, you're not going to win anything with Ole. Like, your team on paper is good, but you're just not playing Who well. asked this question? Uh, it was Dad. <laughs> Shipper 63. Well done, Shipper 63. Yeah. You fucking got him started. Got me started. My fucking right, man, you're not it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, it was a good win. And, uh, um, yeah, I've uh, been on Cloud9 ever since. Ryan's got three questions. Watch two this, are from his dad. Watch this game just All completely right. ruin my mood. So, one from one of our guests that will be on in the next couple of weeks. She put up a little fucking story and it had a can of spam in it. So we got talking <laughs> about spam. And then she said, what do you enjoy about spam? How much you love it. That's what I enjoy about spam. Spam is just beautiful in every he single loves, way. He, he loves the way you touch, the way, the the way, way you feel. The way it feels in your hand when you crush it. The way the way it tastes. Look, Kyle loves spam so much because spam is such a like Hawaiian thing. And I'm Hawaiian. And he loves Hawaii. And I'm Hawaiian. That's why he loves Actually, spam. Actually, in so saying much. that, I love spam before I went to Hawaii. Yeah. I like Because you were in the war and uh you were like <gasps> Interception. 
Oh my god! You know, like when you go to a place and you walk in and you're like, "This is home. This is home." Is that the spam factory? No, that's what I felt like in fucking Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, because it's like I don't like the Gold Coast. I'm hung up. It's nothing like the fucking beachy. It's tropical. Yeah, because I'm a real beachy. How does he not jump on this? How slow he is. Uh, And yeah, my last one. If you had vaginas, do you think you'd have a light, medium, heavy, or phenomenal flow? Hopefully a light flow. Yeah, I would like to think I'd have a light flow. I'll tell you what I would have, though. I don't know anything about how it works as far as, like, like how people have different... Oh, get him out, get him out. Ryan, people can't see. You're not going to call that. People can't see the game. Oh, my God, they're going to call that unnecessary roughness. Um, Like, I don't know if it's, like, a genetic thing or if it's, like, a... I don't know how it works. I don't don't know. I can tell you what, I'm just going to say, I think... I'd have like a medium or light flow. I would hopefully have a light flow and I would have a lot of money because I would be such a fucking whore. You can't say, you can't fucking Why? say. That. Why? It's my vagina. I can you do what are- I want with it. <laughs> don't Why? say it I'd like, a- don't say it like that. You'd have a lot of sex. No, I'm fucking. Why do you have to use that word? It's not a bad word. It is a bad word. No, it's not. It's, usually, it's oh, it's, he's leading with his arms. It's not a bad word at all. I think it's a bad word. I, I just think it's a, a. I think it's a disgusting way to say it. It's not because I'd be a prostitute, <laughs> and I fucking don't think prostitutes are disgusting. So no, absolutely not. It's a. It's just work. It's just sex work, isn't it? Um, I'm a big yeah, fan. Just of, don't big fan of the adult industry. Yeah, look, a lot of people are. It's a big I industry. just think that if I had a JJ, I just, would be. I'm fucking, just going to say I don't agree with the way you said that. Okay. <laughs> I would be fucking making bank. Making bank. Only fans would be And I'd be using my vagina to make bank. Yeah, look, I've uh I've said if I was uh the other if I was an attractive young woman, if I was born an attractive young woman, I'd probably have an OnlyFans. If there was line. fucking a need to see a fucking big dog in his fucking big dog wang, I'd fucking like be if, all there was, if there was a market for uh Big Dog Wangs. Big dog wangs or like just skinny weird old boys. I'd be there. <laughs> old boys. <laughs> But uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's really a big market, so can't really make any money off that. Okay, I've got a good question for you. All right. $4 billion mm-hmm. you get, mm-hmm. but you can't fuck anything except for a flashlight for the rest of your life. You can use your hand to get to like get yourself off. You can't get head. That's hard. You can't do anything. That's hard. Four billion dollars. Four billion dollars, essentially, to be uh, celibate, for, celibate the rest of for the rest of my life. Like, okay, without thinking of it, straight off the bat, yep. Ooh, a savage. Because, like, that is fucking savage. You can spend your money on literally every other pleasure in existence for the rest of your life. Yeah, but ain't nothing sweeter than sticking your ain't D in a V. And nothing. Oh, there's a touch of a woman, but you can still like <laughs> cuddle them, right? <laughs> yeah, but you can't stick it in. Yeah, but well, I'm sorry. I get off on uh, the presence and having a good conversation <laughs> with a woman over oh, just, I yeah. oh, just want to stick it in, bro. It's $4 billion, man. It's a lot of money. All right, well, if you want to cuddle for the rest of your life, you take the money. Hey, cuddle on a I yacht. Think I've, I think I've actually found something that I'd turn down the money for. Wow, yeah. Vagina. The love of a woman. Not even the love, just a vagina. <laughs> wow, Kyle, you really, uh, <laughs> you're really coming out as a great man on this episode. Everyone's a real big fan. I'm sick, leave me alone. I'm sick. I'm sick. Well, here's um, another good question for you. Uh-huh. When a chick is on top and riding you, let's say cowgirl, mm-hmm. not reverse, yeah. cowgirl, where do you put your hands? Um, Are you putting them on a titty? Usually on a it's flag, on the legs, bite. Like, I mean, I move them all over. I don't just keep them in one spot. <laughs> oh, so you don't just like lay there? <laughs> I just lay there with my hands like around the back of my head, like, yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah, girl. That's the stuff, girl. <laughs> nah, like waist, butt, boobs, <laughs> like you're around, around, the, around, around the neck. Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> fucking choke. Like on the face. like On the face? Yeah. Like, Woo! Touching down, the face. Bring it down to kiss. Oh, all right. You know, like, like I, I move them around. Like, I don't just keep them in one spot. you're like spot, stroking right? her face. Under my butt. <laughs> Close. Just keeping them nice and warm. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> 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 Uh, but yeah, I don't really have one spot. I kind of put them where. The have you ever had that awkward moment where you're like, "Where do I put my hands?" No, you just fucking straight up there, straight around the just throat, everywhere. Boom, fuck. Well, I mean, if like you kind of you gauge whether or not they're going to be the type of person that's going to enjoy that. How hard do you, you know? Fuck, just how hard do you squeeze? How, well, <laughs> again, you gauge <laughs> you gauge on what the type of vibe that the person's going for if they're keen to 
<laughs> if they're keen for a bit of a squeeze around the neck, you give them a nice, nice squeeze. You scream when it's too hard. <laughs> Do I scream when it's too hard? <laughs> no, I said scream when it's too hard. Um, I got some. I got one here for you. Um, why is Goofy considered a person and Pluto considered a pet when they're both dogs anyway? Oof, that's bad. Both big dogs. Both big that's dogs. A, that's a bar. Is it because Goofy fucking walks on two legs? Like, I'm assuming it's because Goofy can speak. So I don't know what kind of experiments they're doing on Goofy to get him like that. It's kind of fucked up, Disney. What are you doing? That's true. Um, are you a she or a them? <laughs> that was my boss, uh, Coden. I'm a, I'm a he. I am a he. I'm a he, him. Um, <laughs> do prison buses have emergency exits? No. <laughs> they crash and it's like, well, see you, boys. This thing's about to catch on fire. You guys are fucked. Yeah, that's mm. the way it should be. Oh, this one's a good one. Okay. If you had a dream that none of your dreams would come true and you woke up and had none of your real life dreams come true, would that be a dream come true? What the fucking Jesus. Damn. Yeah, just span you around in your head, didn't you? Damn. Mm. Um, it's still a dream come true. Damn, crazy. Um, Would you have given Tom Brady 600th touchdown ball back? And if so, what would you want in return? Uh, exactly what that guy got, but as you said, I want to meet Tom Brady. I want to be the I one. Don't I don't want to be the one that hands it over. Exactly, I'd be like, okay, I'm you're pulling me down right now. I'm meeting Tom Brady, and that's probably all I'd want to be honest. What? Yeah, meet him. Yeah, just get a photo with him. Just yeah, get a photo of you handing the ball over. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be sick. That would be dope. And then I would have been like, hey, the, like, can I at least like hang around after the game, and yeah. can you just like get him to come over and I'll give him the ball? You know what I would have done. Or Run. spat on <laughs> spat on the ball and threw it at him. I just kissed it. <laughs> just licked the whole thing. Just t- tell Brady I kissed it like he kisses his kids. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got no more. Again, okay. people were slacking. Who's the biggest bum in the NBA, and why is it the Nets? Who's the big? <laughs> it's not the Nets. Who's the biggest bum in the NBA? Um, so far, the biggest bust I think would be <sighs> Harden's playing pretty bad. Yeah, but he's not horrible. He usually takes a while to come in anyway. Harden will come good. Durant will get injured soon anyway. Biggest bum is Kyrie. Oh, why? Because he's unvaccinated? Just play. Oh. Just get your vaccine. Wow. So don't die on that hill. Freedom of choice, bro. Don't die on that hill. I didn't draft him in any league, so... Uh, I did. He can stay out as long as he wants. I don't care. We'll... um. But as a Nets fan, kind of need him. <laughs> Please. Ryan the bandwagon. Yeah. Um, hey. We saw them... When they were trash. That's true, we did. And they had a good team then. And they that's what uh that's that's when I started going for them. Maybe when, we're, them maybe when we're over there we can fucking oh, yell happy. at him. Thoughts on people who don't like dogs? Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Like, so, okay. If you had a traumatic experience as a kid, I can kind of understand it. But if you're just one of those people who's like, no, they're just like dirty, they just I don't like them. I like then I don't cats. Tru- I don't trust you at fucking all. I'm a cat person. Like how? Oh man, you just you know what? They're the type of people that have never experienced the love of a dog, and they just like don't want it. Like they just don't want to experience it because they're too proud. Like people who take the money over over having fl- sex because they've never felt a vagina. Hey, Ryan, f- <laughs> flashlights are cool, man. Yeah, Ryan. Right. All right. What about if um your dog doesn't like a person? Um, depends on the dog. Depends on if my dog is try. Oh my god, that's an automatic first down. Oh my god. Ryan's more into the game than the podcast. Oh my today. god! Good to see everybody. We are going to lose this game. They're going to get a touchdown here. Oh my god! Moron. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, like if my dog is like a not very trusting person for people in general. Yeah. Then like I'll look nothing past it. But if my dog is a very like happy go lucky, get up twenty one. Good judge of character. Yeah, good judge of character. And then all of a sudden it's just like a bit sus. I'll be like, hey, what's what's going on in your soul? That's fair. Mm. Yeah, I probably wouldn't trust someone that my dog didn't trust. And my last question. This is like a little bit of a fucking, uh, I don't know, personal one. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on footy shorts? <laughs> um, I think they're a bit short. Nah. I don't understand. Oh, that's a good catch. I don't understand. Well, I get it. It's a big dog thing. Well, big I don't, dogs wear I don't wear them. I've got skinny, gangly legs, so yeah, I same. don't feel like, Until I start getting some more size on this beer. We can get some fucking big dog thighs. some big, big dog uh, thighs. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I don't really wear them, don't really care about them. Do you think it is 
inappropriate to wear them to breakfast? Um, oh, it depends what the cafe depends what type of cafe you're going to. Like these things are all situational based. Like they're not like if you're wearing them like to a like a normal kind of cafe. Like if it's a fancy bougie cafe, obviously I wouldn't wear wouldn't get around footy. I wear them everywhere. If you're just wearing a cafe, I mean. Wait, we're contra boys. I wear my goddamn footy shorts. Like everywhere. People up here get disgusted at the idea of not wearing like shoes around. I'm like, I never wore shoes. Back I then. wear footy shorts, footy shorts, footy shorts and thongs, footy shorts and slides. Yeah, or Crocs. I'm a big Croc guy. Yeah, shout out to Crocs. They're comfy as fuck. They are the best shoes in the world. But um, yeah. So that's pretty much everywhere we're at. Footy shorts are appropriate attire for anything. Yeah. Big night out in a fancy restaurant with your missus. Footy shorts. Sorry, okay. sorry, I was sick this episode. Don't let the world... Feel very flat. Don't let the world tell you what you can and can't wear. Yeah. You can wear whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, except you, Demi Lovato. Except you, Demi. You <laughs> fucking crackhead. You... <laughs> I'm going to call you that, but... Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> We're still <Breaking> news. <laughs> Demi Lovato hates us. <laughs> that one. <laughs> <laughs>